County Sheriff is back from a visit to the southern border alongside U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown. The two met with Border Patrol agents and local officials in Texas. They were there to get a look at how they're trying to stop drugs from flowing into the U.S. Josh Krupp spoke with them about the trip and joins us live this afternoon. Josh? Yeah, Tony Sherrick, Mark Vosilishin is a Republican, Sherrod Brown a Democrat. They say their political parties here did not matter for the trip. But what does is finding solutions to issues at the border that are having ripple effects at home. It was very, very powerful. I'm, uh, it was tremendous amount of information, very educational. Wood County Sheriff Mark Vasilishin says he's wanted to visit the southern border for a while to see firsthand the challenges faced by Border Patrol agents. U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown of Ohio also wanted to make the journey and invited Vasilishin to join him in McAllen, Texas over the weekend. I know a lot of sheriffs around the state, but he had this interest and it was the exact, he was the exact right person to bring when I saw him close up in action for two days. Vasilishin says one thing local sheriffs have in common with authorities in border counties is the fentanyl crisis. People People are dying every day because of the fentanyl that's being brought in by the by the cartels in Mexico. They have absolutely uh, no sympathy or empathy for any of the people they're bringing across. They don't care if they die in route, not their problem because they get their money. Brown says the border should be a bipartisan issue, but it doesn't have just one simple solution. The senator also calling on the House to pass his Fend Off Fentanyl Act, which would impose new sanctions and penalties targeting the illicit fentanyl supply chain. Presidents of both parties have failed at the border. They've not protected our country well enough, and we need to direct more resources to the border, the most important thing we can do, keep this stuff out of our country, uh, help local police deal with it, and at the same time, help local people who are addicted uh, break this addiction with better treatment facilities. And of course, Sherrod Brown up for re-election next year. The Republicans in the race challenging him have also either visited the border or made it a key part of their campaigns. Brown says this wasn't a campaign-related visit, saying he has worked on legislation addressing fentanyl and the border for years. Tina.